people often define us by what we do, but it really should be that people should define us by who we are. And I mean not just our values and beliefs, but the core of the person we are that makes us lean towards what we do. And if we're lucky enough, we get to do something that is meaningful to who we are. Boy, that sounds really esoteric, but I'm gonna explain. You can call me Mocha Mom. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior. That's my channel where I share the ups and downs and hacks of all different kinds of working moms that I interview on a regular basis so you can relate to the flaws and the failures and the successes that they share with me and feel better about the job you're doing as a mom even if you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. I want you to dump that stress and I want you to think about who the person you are is. Yes, not the person you are to other people, not mom, not worker, not, in my case, reporter. Because for a long time, I consider what I do and who I am to be one and the same. I'm a reporter. But the other day, I got together with my mastermind group, which I love. I highly recommend that if you don't have a group of women that you see regularly, that you find some sort of a group on Meetup. And it doesn't have to be a mom group. It just so happens that the other three women are moms and their children are around the same ages as mine. But we talk about things mostly separate from parenting. We talk about personal development. And we talked the other day about the distinction between what you do and who you are. And I sort of realized that who I am is a person that's all about truth and honesty. My whole life, I've actually told people that that is more important to me than just about anything else, is people telling the truth. One of the jobs, one of the many jobs that I do is evaluating rental applications to uh, do property management. And I am just flabbergasted how often people lie or misrepresent uh, who their landlord is, where they're living, where they used to live, because they're trying to cover something up. And in many cases, if they told me the truth and just explained about a situation that went wrong and why it happened and what they've learned from it, I might be willing to work with them on that situation. But the problem is when people misrepresent the truth and don't um, reveal the honesty of what's really happening. Number one, I feel like they didn't really learn anything. And number two, I don't wanna be associated with people like that. I've told so many people in my life, I can forgive just about anything as long as I know the truth of what happened, why it happened. And so what matters to me, who I really am, is I am a person who is constantly involved in seeking out the truth. Sometimes the truth is just something fun and simple. And sometimes there's obviously more than one truth. I go out to cover a story, the way I cover it is going to be different than somebody else, especially if it's just a fun little feature. And it doesn't matter if I get um, both sides of an issue, like with a political story, but it might matter if I take a little extra time to talk to the people who are not um, the main ones in the middle of the event, but sort of somebody off on the side who said, I wasn't really thinking of going here today, but I did because of this. And so the other two people in my mastermind group who were at the meeting the other day, um, one of them said the core of who she is, is trying to help people discover um, what their uh, their number one thing in life that makes them special, what gift they have to bring to the world. The other one is all about um, giving children equal opportunity for education, but in a much bigger way. She talked about her overall goal of opening a, a school someday in India that would provide everything children need to succeed, food and nurturing and education. But it's because she believes if everyone is given opportunities to educate themselves will all be able to reach our potential, even those who have untapped potential. So it wasn't that she was an educator or a leader. No, the person she is is someone who's trying to help others to untap their potential. Someone who believes in the untapped potential of others. And so getting at the core of who you are means thinking about your values, thinking about what you believe in, thinking about how you act on those things. So as somebody who believes very strongly in the truth and honesty, I try to make sure that no matter what the situation, I'm always honest with others and myself 
about what's really going on. And that's one of the reasons I started my Working Mom Warrior YouTube channel, is I see so many things about moms on social media telling how great their kids are, how wonderful life is, and how beautiful their their meals are and they don't tell all of those downsides and I'm not a negative person I'm very optimistic and so the reason why I want to show the flaws and the failures is not to be negative but it's because every day it seems like me and so many other moms think about those things stress about those things worry about the things that we're not doing right instead of concentrating on the things we are doing right and we are focusing on them we're telling our friends about them we're putting them on social media but deep down inside we're thinking about the ways we're coming up short especially those high achieving moms who have high expectations for themselves in their career and in their life and as a mom and if we hear about other women who are are doing all the things that we're doing and still feeling like we're not succeeding in the areas where we want we had this failure for instance today I had to pick up my daughter from work and I was 17 minutes late which made her late for school that's terrible and I've had an issue with punctuality my whole life so I just put it out there I'm just starting to post on Instagram and TikTok. never really have before I'm like how do you post a 10 second video what do you say I'm a reporter who spent my career telling stories that people will read for 5 or 10 or 15 minutes people will watch for 2 minutes how do you say something in 10 10 seconds but I did I said late moms suck and I'm one of them and yeah that's something that I I should fix right it sounds so simple but just because something simple does not mean it's easy so give yourself a break even if there's something that you know in your life you've been trying to fix your whole life and you haven't that's okay it's just your flaw maybe someday you'll fix it maybe you won't lots of other moms have lots of other flaws and that's the honesty of it and that's why I'm being honest today because that's the essence of who I am and that's why I love my job as a reporter and I look forward to giving you more tips in my next video click on it and definitely subscribe to working mom warrior because you will get more hacks and more ideas and more reassurance that what you're doing and what you're feeling is the same as the rest of us I look forward to seeing you next time on Working Mom Warrior.